Uh, first video. Things that we all did as kids. I don't know what it was about being a kid. I guess our one brain cell conjoined and we all collectively decided that this was the way to live life. When I was looking at the list of this stuff, I'm like, damn, I, I, I do some of these to this day. That's kind of embarrassing. Now, of course, we got to start off with the animal walk. You know what I'm talking about. I guess we all learned that. Bro, I swear I always did this on the stairs. You'd get on all fours and you'd run up those stairs, bro. You would be running and even on the ground, bro. I still sometimes do it. It's crazy how how often I actually do it more than I think. I'm to the age where I shouldn't, but I mean, hey, I got arms for a reason, you know. Cheetahs were the fastest animal, and we decided to haul ass on all fours up the stairs. I guess we thought it was a more efficient method of traveling. I don't know. I mean, sometimes I'd still walk around the house like that. My mom would be like, what the fuck are you doing? I'd be like, oh, that that's tough. And of course, I don't know what it was about the dark, but the dark had me hauling ass up the stairs, too. The dark was op number one, like... Bro, I remember I used to... I used to always do this. I would be in my room, lights off, but I have my door open and I have my bathroom light on because I was always scared of the dark because there's going to be monsters in my closet, bruh. Like, you, I, now I just sleep in the pitch black, but I mean, still, younger me was just scared, bruh. Oh my god. I had to get it back in blood with the dark, so I got a nightlight. And after that, I felt I safe. Like I'm like, all right, I'm good. I'm safe from the monsters. Hey, man, I watched Monsters, Inc., and I was not lacking. But then I realized, oh, shit, I'm still not safe. You know, after I was in my bed under my blanket, I still wasn't safe. Some of you might be like, wait, what? How is that possible? The monsters, man, they were everywhere, man. The closet, under my bed, they could have been on my ceiling. And hell, one of them even got in my bed. Yo, no, no, hold on, let me rephrase. I had to keep the night light on and i had to keep a nerf gun by my side bro i'm not lacking in the streets these monsters want to scrap bro they can get it bro i got the nerf gun when i wake up in the morning i felt great i felt amazing i don't know why it was but whenever we were kids we just felt actually good when we woke up i don't know why man but i was just ecstatic to live the day there was so much to do but then the dreaded word and now i mean when i get up it's either coffee or like to get me up i force myself up but for most people, especially adults and teens, it's either an energy drink or Starbucks. <laughs> Just, no, not no regular old Folgers or gas station coffee. No, it's gotta be, it's gotta be this very well-designed Starbucks overpriced drink. Because that's the best kind of coffee, even though it's just all sugar and crap. And caffeine came out of my mom's mouth you have school today and at that point bro my day was ruined i was crying i was bawling on the floor and i was like please mom don't take me to school and we would all please please don't take me it's a nightmare and i still hate it to this day please do the most to try to skip school. Yes, that's right. I know everybody watching this video has done some devious ass shit to try to skip school. Whether you pretend to be sick, hide the car keys, you do something, all right? You do everything in your power. School felt like hell on- Yeah, you throw- Yeah, throw- Take your mom's car keys, throw them in the trash can, and then when the trash people come by, they come pack the keys, and then you're left without keys, which leaves you without a car. Which means you can't go anywhere, which is going to get your mom fired, and then she's not going to have a job, and then she's going to go homeless, and then you're just going to die of starvation because you don't have any food or money, because you threw away her car keys like an idiot, bro. On earth back then, but even though, looking back, elementary school was probably the best out of all three. The other two sucked. Middle school and high school just couldn't compete, bro. And of course my ass would get dragged to school. I'd get on the bus, I'd look out the window on the bus, and it happened to be a rainy day. And I see raindrops rolling down the bus window. And of course, the race was really intense. This was like the race of the century in my mind, bro. And then you'd hear my ass in the back of the bus while everyone's... Does anyone else, like, this is weird, does anyone else think of, like, raindrops as sperm? Like, does it not look like... Because it's clear, but if you made it white, I mean... Hey, just get some white paint, start painting, and I mean... 
looking at me. I was like, yes, that one won. It was really intense, and I really had nothing better to do on the bus. Because no way I was allowed to bring my iPod to school. That was not happening. You walk into class, everybody looks mopey because I had to get up for school in the morning. But every single kid in that room had to find a way to entertain themselves for seven hours. So you bet we came up with some creative ways to entertain ourselves during school. You cannot tell me that you never poked holes in your erasers, sharpened your pencils until they were about like the length of my... And we took those goofy ass cubes. I'm gonna put a picture of them on the screen. And we'd like build big ass towers with them. And we would even take them and have sword fights with them. And of course they'd break on impact. And we'd be really... Nah, bro, I did those markers. It's like a whole bunch of expo markers and he starts having a sword fight. Immediately breaks, but I... Sad, but I don't know what we expected. I mean, of course they're gonna break. So we take the markers and do it with markers instead. But of course that didn't work either. And I know it lasted about half a second. Nah, what are y'all staring at me for? After some boring ass lectures and barely paying attention and getting up to some tomfoolery, it was time for lunch. And of course, we all brought different things to lunch. Now, I'd always bring a PB and J or a PB and fluff. All right, that was the move. There was this one dude in my school that brought mac and cheese cold. I don't know why he did it, but I guess he wanted mac and cheese. But there was this methodology that we all used to eat our mac and cheese. All right, just stuck it on the prongs of the fork, just like this. And apparently, this was the most efficient way to eat our mac and cheese now i don't know what it was i would save the best bite for last on my sandwich like i'd just eat around my sandwich and i'd save the best bite for last the last bite's gotta be perfect man you know what i'm saying i had to munch bro i needed that fuel for recess and after about like 20 minutes it was time for recess we went outside every single motherfucker on that playground felt like they were on top of the world we'd all climb the monkey bars spin on those spinny things you know what i'm talking about and even Oh yeah, you climb the monkey bars, and then you get stuck halfway through, so you jump down, and then you break your legs because you decide to be an idiot and climb the monkey bars. Or no, even worse, you decide to stand on top of the monkey bars, and then you break both your legs and your head and everything. You Sometimes the gym teacher would break out that parachute thing. Yeah, and it was amazing. Oh. And of course, what we all remember is our fingers feeling like they're fucking broken after the monkey bars. Feeling like we just chugged a bottle of Captain Morgan after that goddamn spinny thing. And the slides, man, they were either really staticky or just warm as hell. There was no in-between. It was depending on which ones you had, of course. And after a few more hours, you were like, let's go, school's over. And you walk outside, you were smoking that pack in the air. You were pretending to, at least. You were breathing it in and just blowing out air because school's over, we're smoking that pack. And we head back home and we were hoping that there were some pizza rolls in that goddamn toaster. And if it was, it was a good... Bro, nah, nah, you better... Like, those look decent, but you gotta make them crispy. You gotta pull them in the oven, make them crispy. Chef's kiss, bro. They hey, suck. I will say that for sure. Like, I always had a snack waiting for me when I got home, bro. My mom took good care of me. I had either Oreos, pizza rolls, and I wondered why I was fat. And you know it was a good day if your mom was like, all right, we gotta go clothes shopping. And then I'd start complaining like, ah, oh, no, I don't wanna go clothes shopping. And then the words left her mouth. If you're good, I'll take you to Chuck E. Cheese. What? what? Is it possible? Charles Entertainment Cheese? And I'd start freaking out. I'm like, oh my God, I get to meet him. Oh yeah, as a kid. Woohoo, Chuck E. Cheese, it's so fun. Nah, now it's just, now, I mean, the pizza's still good. The games are decent. The mouth, the mouse is just, uh, well, we all know the mouse. We all know what In happened. the flesh? Are you serious? The skater rat with W drip? No way, bro. This is, this is an honor. I don't know what they did to my boy now, but shit, that's just some disrespect. And of course, we went clothes shopping, and my dumb ass wasn't really behaving. Of course not. And I was just running around the clothes store, looking like I was on some kind of adventure. And I would hide in the clothes racks. Maybe that was just me. I don't know. But I'd hide in the clothes racks until my mom would come find me. Like, I'd act like it's a game of hide and seek. She's like, all right, come out or we're not going to Chuck E. Cheese. And of course, I'd break. I'd be like, no, I want to go to Chuck E. Cheese. And I'd sprint out of the goddamn clothing rack. And of course, after I got my clothes, we went to Chuck E. Cheese. You know, best place uh, on the globe in my eight-year-old and seven-year-old mind. There was no better. So I'd play my games, I'd get my prizes, and then I would go home. No nah. Nah, Chuck E. Cheese, bro, it is... The games, I swear the games are rigged. Because the amount of tickets you get, you can spend, like, now, like, $200 and not even get, like, 2,000 tickets. Not even 1,000, honestly. Like, is that anyone else or is that just me when I have to go? 
course, I had to do my homework before, unfortunately. But hey, I still went. And I was playing skee-ball and I was cooking up. There was no stopping me. I was in my element. I would spin that ticket wheel thing all the time. I was trying to get the, the big prize. Hey, man, I've always been a bag chaser. I'm my eyes set in the right direction. No, that's the most rigged game. That is probably one of the most rigged. Because the odds of you actually getting the thousand are low. Because you'd either not even come close or you'd come close and get like four. Like something on the edge. That... And of course I would play basketball too. I was always hooping up. Then when I get home from Charles Entertainment Cheese, I get a call on the phone and it's from my neighbor. And he's like, yo, you want to have a sleepover? And I'm like, yes, bro. Of course I want to have a sleepover. So I went there. And of course we had to bring our DSs. That's just how it was. It was a staple. And we'd build like some kind of fort, whether it was with the couch or a pillow fort. We would just chill in the fort and play our Mario Kart DS. Like, tell me not every kid did this. Like, there's no way you did it if you grew up in the 2000s or 2010 you get your little pillow fork going now remember that sometimes we'd prank the person that fell asleep first at sleepovers so my ass was up pretty late and i was parched all right i'm like i gotta go downstairs and i gotta drink some water and tell me not 3 a.m water just hits different and then i just saw my friend's magnets on the fridge and i was just fucking playing with them like an idiot i was trying to get them to stick together at this point it was pretty late at night we did our thing and of course the kid do I want to say what it looks like? Hmm. Real looks like a few different things. Re really, He's really upset that he got pranked. Obviously, no one's going to be happy that they pissed themselves. I either have sleepovers at my okay. friend's house that I met at school or my neighbor's house. All right. That those were the two spots for me. Now, remember, bro, I'd crash at like 2 a.m. And my ass didn't fall asleep first. So luckily, I was not the one being pranked that very night. And when I woke up in the morning, I still felt pretty good, even though I didn't get much sleep that night. Like, we got to do what we got to do. I'm not trying to pee myself over here. Now, I just remember smelling those pancakes in the morning and oh my god i just remember having chocolate chip pancakes in the morning at my friend's sleepovers i don't care what anyone said pancakes are the best thing for breakfast it besides bacon it's bacon and pancakes best breakfast combo now i'm not no foreigner i'm american Okay, so don't say like, oh no, like the Netherlands has better breakfast. No, Germany's got better. No, Finland has better. Shut up. I've not had it. I don't want to. I want to, but I don't have the money to go to Europe. I'm a bro YouTuber filming low quality videos. That just hit different. If you did not have that experience, man, you missed out. Chocolate chip pancakes in the morning was a special occasion. Not ego ones, not ego pancakes. Homemade. That shit was crazy. And of course, we'd log on to the good old Wii in the morning after breakfast. And it was fun. Of course, we played Wii Sports, as always. And if you were a 90s kid, you probably played the Nintendo 64 or something like that. But anyways, comment down below what you did as a kid. Want another video to watch? Bro. The Wii Sport, Wii Bowling might genuinely be one of the greatest games of all time. The nostalgia and fun that was in that game. Mm. That was a great video, though.